put it on with like a denim jacket it will be super cute with some sandals look at him look at him he is bad look Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. We're starting out the vlog in the car. Um, right now I am pulling up to Duncan because I'm about to get some matcha. But this time I'm gonna get matcha with vanilla. Um, I'm really hungry though, but I mean, I'm about to go to the car dealership because I think my car has some issues. Duncan. Hi, can I have an iced matcha with four pumps of vanilla? Small. Small ice latte with four pounds of um, vanilla. Yes, ma'am. Anything else for you? That'll be all. all right. yes, Thank you. And y'all see we back to the bun, but I get my hair washed and stuff. I think I'm gonna get my ends trimmed on Friday too, whenever I go to my natural hair appointment. Um Yeah, like I was saying, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get my ends trimmed at my hair appointment on Friday because I'm not gonna get a silk press yet. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait until the end of the year, but y'all know it is like silk press season. But I think I'm gonna wait until the end of the year to get mine. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get my ends trimmed one more time to hold me over until I get my silk press. So. Um, I got a wig in. Y'all know I haven't really installed a wig in a while, but I got another wig in. I'm trying to see though because I don't really want to install this one on my. Oh, these nails are cute. That made me want to get my long nails back. But um, what was I saying? Hold on. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Um, what was I saying? Jesus, how did I just forget that fast? That's bad. Um, I was talking about getting my ear trim. Oh, I was talking about getting a wig. Yeah, I haven't had a wig on in a minute. But I'm debating on if, like, I want to do it myself or go get it done i really think i want to actually go and get this one like installed by somebody that does hair for real for real because i haven't got my hair like done done in a while so i really want to do that and actually like get my hair done just so i can like i haven't had that feeling in a minute you know that feeling when you just got your hair done like i haven't had that in a minute so i really want to actually book an appointment and get it done so yeah but right now i'm about to head to the car dealership so they can see what's going on with my car girl like my car is like wet right here at the top let me show y'all it's like wet because it's raining outside so i'm thinking that my car has a, some type of leak but how i've never seen a car have a leak from the ceiling then they told me it was time for like a tire rotation on that so i'm just about to let them do what to do like whatever this car need y'all need to go ahead and handle it because I ain't trying to be worried about this car and its issues no more, okay? So let me show y'all the ceiling and where it's wet. So y'all see like right here, it is raining outside and I've never seen this happen in my car before. So yeah child, I'm about to go and get this handle and I'll probably pick back up with y'all whenever I finish or whenever I leave. Whatever they say, I don't even know because I don't even have an appointment. So once they take it in and see if it has problems or if they're even able to look at it today, um, 
I'll come and check back in with y'all and let y'all know what's tea. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. So, I went to the dealership and he told me to come back in the morning. So, I actually had a wax appointment in the morning, but this leak he said that it was like gonna basically start smelling because y'all know like how water is and water being in places it's not supposed to be it do like start like making a weird smell so yeah everything else i'm gonna just go ahead and get it handled in the morning um because it is basically it's not it's an emergency um so i'm gonna just go ahead and get stuff handled because it's better to get handle stuff on time and you know before anything really really bad happens so i'm gonna just go ahead and get the handle in the morning i just pulled up the target though um oh and i'm gonna have to cancel i need to go ahead well not cancel i think i'm gonna just have to reschedule i'm gonna just reschedule my wax appointment real quick let me see <laughs> she probably like girl how many times you gonna reschedule for some reason i always have to end up rescheduling my wax appointment so let's see when should i reschedule uh what's this week yeah, something next. Okay, I'm gonna just go then. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so I rescheduled that, and then Brax also has like a bath appointment tomorrow, but that's at one. 30 so i was i asked him i was like y'all think i could be done you're gonna be able to finish at 1 30 he was like as long as i bring it in the morning time so i'm about to run into target because i need some more razors or i need a new razor and i also want to see if they have some type of like vanilla body butter i still haven't found a body butter but i did get the vanilla body scrub from ulta last week i didn't even show y'all the stuff that i ended up picking up from ulta um but i kind of want to do a video like including stuff like that but that's besides the point i'm about to go ahead and head in here to target so let's go we're about to have a little target date okay okay y'all so right now i am at chick-fil-a i do plan on going grocery shopping before i go home but i still have one more stop i want to go to at home so i can get a new shower caddy um because the old one or the one that i have now is starting to get like rusty and stuff and it just irritates my soul so i need a new shower caddy i think i'm gonna just get a black one this time um and i'm gonna try to pay attention to stuff like that and see like if it says like um anti-rust all that kind of stuff um so yeah right now i stopped because it started when i okay so i ended up going into target i went to bath and body works tj maxx and yeah those three so I didn't film while I was in any of those stories, sorry, but I do plan on showing y'all everything that I got once I make it home. Um, and when I was coming out of Bath and Body Works, that was the last stop I made. It was like raining and it was like it was about to start trying to pour down. So I was like, I'm gonna just take this time to go and grab some neat real quick and then I'll go finish up what I need to go and do because I am hungry, okay? So I need a little bit of food to energize you, girl. Oh, and y'all, look at this matcha that I ended up, that y'all just seen me get. I think I just like my matcha plain because this vanilla is not hitting either. So I really thought, I really had high hopes. I was like, yeah, I know this is gonna be good. I was like really craving it. Um, even though I didn't know what it tastes like, I just really wanted to try it. But yeah, I think I just like my matcha regular because I got matcha one time before. I got matcha from Starbucks, but I think it was just like with coconut milk. So I'ma just stick to my matchas being just basic regular with nothing. Um, no add additives or add-ons, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna just stick to plain and simple matcha because it's not working for you, girl. So, yeah, I just wanted to come and give y'all an update. Um, I'm really excited because I got some wallflowers from Bath and Body Works, so I'm really excited about those. I got pumpkin cupcake and then I got laundry day. I'm gonna put the pumpkin cupcake in my room because I want my room to be very, um, fall like i wanted to smell autumn mesh in my room like it's i just want to have all the vibes i want to catch the vibes when i walk into my room a fall season so i got pumpkin cupcake and then i also plan on getting um this candle 
even though I don't really need candles because wildflowers are like really strong um I just want to get a candle because I still need like the decor of the candle you know to sit on top of like my little books and stuff um so I'm gonna do that but anyways like I was saying I'm gonna just show y'all everything I got when I get home I just wanted to come and check in Oh, and I'm gonna put, I was about to say, and I'm gonna put the laundry day one in my bathroom because it just makes sense to me to have like clean sense in the restroom, you know? So, yeah. But I'll check back in with y'all whenever I get to the house. Okay. Alrighty then, Bronco. Can I talk for like a few seconds? Ten ways up. Ouch! Ten ways up. Ouch! Okay, that should be good. Braxton, do not bother stuff right now. Okay, I'm gonna start out with Target. So, first things first, I got from Target um, some honey pot. This Flamingo razor. I use the Flamingo brand for my razors anyway. So, I just got a new one. This is the Desert Rose and Silver one. I just needed a new razor because mine had started like... It was just time for a new razor, basically. So, I got this one. I've had the teal one and I've had the purple one. So, this time I just got pink. And y'all know I'm not really even a pink girl, but... Oh, well. <laughs> then I also got this coconut oil formula with vitamin E, coconut and hydrate daily body lotion. Um, I've been on the search for a new, like, body care. Like I was telling y'all in my last, um, vlog. I got this, but I also have the coconut oil. Like, I moisturize with coconut oil, like, literally oil. So, I ended up getting this because I don't have a lotion that I use right now consistently. But I really want, like, a body cream or a body butter, to be honest, for, like, the fall season. Because lotions, like, I feel like they dry up too fast. So, I really want, like, a body butter to, um combined with my oil but for now i'm gonna just use this with my oil and let's see how this goes until i find me a body butter and then i got some soap which is you know the same soap that i use it's just the dove sensitive skin um bar soap that's the only kind of soap i use and have used my whole entire life other than uh, I used to use the Cetaphil bar soap because y'all know I have sensitive skin and eczema. So, yeah, I use that. Um, now, that was all for Target. So, we're going to move on to... I don't even know what that little boy got going on over there. But, we're going to move on to Bath and Body Works. So, for the bathroom, I got this pumpkin cupcake... Um, what do you call it hand soap and it's so pretty it's gonna match my bathroom decor so i can't wait to put it in the bathroom because i know it's gonna look so good um with everything and then i got two wild wall flower plugs so i got this one this black one um i plan on putting this one in my room because y'all know my room decor is like black silver gold type vibes and then i got this one in gold because this matches my bathroom decor and i got pumpkin cupcake for my room and i got laundry day for the bathroom so because i told y'all i want my room to smell very fallish and i also picked up this um another like fall candle for decor for my room which i will see when we get there but that was everything from bath and body works so now we'll move on to TJ Maxx and somehow I ended up in like the little skincare 
body section that I never go to in TJ Maxx and I ended up getting um I got this sponge thing it's like a scrubber so I use I'm gonna be using this for my feet in the shower because it is fall time and we don't want no crusty dry cracked feet so I will be adding this to my routine now for the fall season um just to make sure the feet say Soft, okay, honey. Soft and kissable. Here you <laughs> Um, and then I also got these super soft fuzzy socks because it's that season. And also, I feel like this is another way to keep your feet super soft. Um, like after you got out of the shower, did your foot scrub and all that, and then you like leather lather on some type of foot cream or like Vaseline even because y'all know Vaseline literally makes everything soft you can put on your Vaseline and then put on your uh, fuzzy socks and go to sleep and I swear when you wake up in the morning your feet will be super soft so yeah I just threw y'all a little quick little gem quick little tip for your soft feet this season so yeah I just got these it's like a blue and gray pack, I really did it because of this little gray solid pair right here. And they didn't have any other ones with like solids in it. So this will have to do for now. Um, then I got this exfoliant washcloth. Um, so it has the super soft side here. And then it also has the exfoliating side. And it came with two of them. So this here was actually only $4.99. But I feel like this is going to be really good as well for the fall season or just to incorporate into my body care routine from now on, to be honest. Because I do use like a regular little washcloth, but with it being exfoliating, that's going to be perfect perfect to like even out my body skin tone. You know, I know we put a lot of, um, what's the word? Like we put a lot of effort into our face, but sometimes we forget about like a body care routine, so... I'm really happy to see what this does for my skin since I do suffer from like little scars and marks and stuff. So hopefully this helps um, because most of the time I'm a little bit too nervous. I do use body scrubs but like only on my underarms and sometimes in like intimate areas for um, like darker skin or whatever. So I don't really use my body scrubs like all over my body because I don't want it breaking me out. So this is a good alternative like for it to be an exfoliant. But I know for sure it doesn't have like any scents or anything that would break me out. So I got this. Pick that up. Then I got this aloe vera eye cream because I've been finding that like Sometimes my under eyes are pretty dark and y'all know my little um, makeup routines that I've been posting. Y'all see me only put concealer like up under my eyes really most of the time. So hopefully this can help with lightening that up and it is aloe vera. So I feel like that'll be really good because aloe vera is something that I use in my face routine already. So for it to be aloe vera and ice cream, eye cream. I hope that it does me some justice and it says that it is loaded with vitamin C and vitamin E um, and it is known to diminish blemishes and lessen fine lines as well as boost skin elasticity. So I'm really happy to try this out and this is what it looks like and I just picked it up from the little skincare area or whatever. Let me open it up and see what it looks like in the package. Stop! If I can get it open. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> Too cute. And it's like aesthetically pleasing. So this is going to look so cute in my bathroom. That is too cute. And then last but not least, I picked up these elderberries um, gummies. So, it says that it's guaranteed no added gluten, nuts, egg, milk, soy, artificial colors, or preservatives. So, that is why I was like, you know what? Yes, I'm about to get this because I don't know if that's rare, but I feel like that's rare for it to not have all those things, which I'm allergic to like almost every single thing, like nuts, milk, soy, all of that. So, I plan on trying these out, and it's the elderberry. So, with COVID being on the rise right now, probably during this season, I need to start get, getting some more supplements and all that kind of good stuff. 
and they're raspberry flavored. Hmm, let's see what they taste like. Um, I mean, I'm glad they don't taste nasty because I can actually eat these. As long as they don't start breaking me out, then that will be good. Because that's why I be scared of vitamins because half the time vitamins will be making me break out. So that's everything from TJ Maxx, probably. Yeah. That's everything from TJ Maxx. Um, let me put everything back in my bag until I'm ready to undo. Stop, please. Stop. Stop. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Give me a paw. Oh. Mama sugar fruit. Mama sugar woogle. So we're going to move on to home goods. So starting out, I got these little cream baskets to put into. Like I have this little wooden bathroom storage stand basically. So and it has three little slots. So I'm gonna put these in it and then put the things that I need in the bathroom in here. So I just got these. I feel like, you know, that's better because right now things are just sitting like in them and it's not, I feel like it doesn't look right. And it will look way more put together and neat and clean with everything being inside of these, you know, instead of everything, you just being able to see all the products and different stuff. It's just, it. it I don't like it. It doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> So I did that. Sit down, Braxton. Sit down. So I got that for the bathroom. Then I got, let's see, this is a candle I know for sure. This is probably the candle that I got for the bathroom as well because I only got two candles this time. Good job to me, okay? Because y'all know I used to go crazy with the candles. So I got this, um, and you see the packaging, it's cream cream like everything is matching okay um so this is heritage pumpkin so the notes are warm spice sweet um harvest pumpkin infused with brown sugar ginger cinnamon toasted clove clove and sweet vanilla so sit down so yeah it just smells oh it smells like a gingerbread cookie but you also like smell the pumpkin in the background. Mm, yeah, that really does smell really good. So with it being a clean scent in the bathroom and then you get that nice little, I'll have like the little candle going sometimes. So you'll have like clean mixed with fall. So I feel like that's going to be really good. Um, or a really good like, uh, what do you call it? Mix to have. Next, I got this candle for my room, which y'all will see where I'm going here. I'm making it a little bit more festive in my room. I'm trying to like add a little bit of fall decor here. So I got this pumpkin candle, y'all. Look at this. Isn't this just too stinking cute? It's a pumpkin. And it smells like, it smells literally like it's the same thing. Oh, but it's pumpkin spice. But it smells just like that. Oh my God, this is too stinking cute. So I got this here, but it's a candle. And then I got this throw blanket just to tie in like that color and to, you know, try to add a little bit more color into my room for this season and make it feel a little bit more fallish. I got this throw blanket. Um, at first I was about to get this like tan one or brown one, but I decided to go for this one instead so it can tie in with the pumpkin. So I feel like this is going to be super cute. I can't wait. Of course I'll end up, I'm probably going to end up like setting everything up tonight and I'll show y'all like a little quick glance at how the room is looking once I do everything. Okay, so uh, next for the bathroom, I got this little wooden thing which will look cute on top of the little wooden stand that I was talking about so I got this and it just says count your blessings and it has this little leaf so that's very fallish basically you know it's giving the fall vibes it also matches the candle like I'm not gonna do a bathroom tour and I'm not even gonna show you the bathroom probably but y'all see the vision with these three bathroom uh things that I got here so yeah then I got I think this is the last thing I got and it's just these two gray pillows yeah this is the last thing 
So it's just these two gray pillows. So my new vibe is basically like gray, black, white, gold. That's the vibe in here. So I'm about to clean up and set everything out, put in my plugins, and yeah. Um, I'll probably end up showing y'all like a little quick glance at the room uh, before I go to bed. But other than that, I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning, you guys. So today is two. No, today is Thursday, and like I told y'all yesterday, I was gonna end up having to go to um, the car dealership this morning. So right now it is. Let's see. Oops. It is 929, so I'm about to head out because he said as long as I get there before 10. So I'm already running late. I'm not running late, but yeah, I need to go, hurry up and go. I had a business meeting this morning on Zoom. And then, um, yeah, that's basically everything that has happened. Let me show y'all the outfit real quick. It's nothing too spectacular. I need to put that back on my purse. Um, don't mind the clothes in the back. I'm going to show y'all those later on when I get home. So, yeah, just they're brown today <laughs> it's giving brown okay so um i want my mirror here this is the outfit put on little necklaces my watch she in she in shoes ego and i'm still wearing my teddy blake orange bag so that is the vibes for today um so yeah let's head out I did accomplish a lot today. I got everything that was wrong with my car fixed except for the speaker because I'm going to have to take it back to the actual dealership because they said I'm going to have to get like a new speaker or something like that. Um, everything else is handled, situated with my car. Um, what else? Oh, Braxton went and got a bath and cut today. He got his first big boy cut. <laughs> look, show him your cut. Look, y'all. Don't even look like a big boy now. <laughs> he look like a big boy. <laughs> Brandon, you look like a big boy, mama baby. But it's so cute. Like, I love it. <laughs> oh. Oh, you too cute. Yeah, so today was pretty successful. So, I'm going to end it with a little bit of work. And don't mind Bronchi. Um, yeah in the morning I have well and then I'm glad that I did think about like going ahead and filming too because in the morning I have a uh, hair appointment to get my hair washed and get my ends trimmed and I'm gonna probably get my hair like uh, braided down more than likely I'm just going ahead and get it braided down so yeah and then i also well you know what i may just film the video with my braids instead of filming right now yeah i think that's what i'm gonna probably end up doing yeah i think i'm gonna just do that i'm gonna just wait till film tomorrow and i'm gonna go ahead and go to the game because this, i'm not even gonna be able to film because bronco down there barking he's gonna be barking all throughout the video so yeah i might as well just go ahead and go to the game and then just film in the morning with my braid down yeah that's what i'm gonna do so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and i was about to say i'm about to go ahead and close out the video but not really i just wanted to come and check, check in with y'all i didn't really talk to y'all today for real for real because i was just handling a lot of stuff like i told y'all i needed to handle business i'm just so happy that i'm getting all these things done that has been on my to-do list for a long time so now i just feel like i'm like free like I don't have to like be worried about like oh I, i'm gonna still have to do this i'm gonna still i still gotta get this fixed one car or i gotta do this like i'm basically done with everything that needs to be handled that i was telling y'all about so i'm really happy about that and you know when the things that need to be handled it's just like okay now i feel free with my money like 
Cause you know, you know when you be buying stuff, but it's like you know you got other stuff that like bigger stuff to deal with or handle. You you kind of feel a little guilty, or it's just like you don't be at ease or at peace. But now it's like all oh, the big stuff that I really need to handle is out the way. So now I can spend my coins on whatever I want to spend my coins on. You feel me? So <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm like at right now. I'm I'm happy. Um, that everything is handled. Uh, it's only one more thing, which is like the speaker. I'll probably end up getting that handled. Some t I may end up going tomorrow. If not, then. I don't know when I'll handle it, but yeah, I'm just happy that all of that is out of the way and handled. Um, and I'm ready to get my hair washed and conditioned and braided down tomorrow. Get my ends trimmed because my hair has really, really grown a lot since the last time y'all seen when I got my ends trimmed. Um, it is really, really grown a lot, so I'm really happy to get my ends trimmed because I know that. When I get my silk press, girl, it's going to be inches, okay? It's going to be inches, like, don't play with her. So, yeah. I'll talk to y'all in the morning. Hey y'all, okay, so please know my own Bronco, but I just got home. Um, let me turn down this brightness. So yeah, I just got home from getting my hair braided or washed and all that kind of good stuff. Y'all know my little routine. I haven't got my hair braided down, like washed and clean and stuff professionally in a few months. So I ended up getting my ends trimmed as well. Um, but right now I'm about to show y'all like a few items that I got from Shein that I'm not going to do like a whole little Shein clothing haul for. I just want to show y'all in the vlog. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and show y'all. It's like... Like, a lot of, like, sweatshirts and stuff. Just, like, chill type of stuff that I picked up to wear, like, on a daily basis. Because I have been getting a lot of stuff, like, that I want to, like, put together as a look. But I also need stuff that I want to wear, like, on a daily basis for the fall time. You know, like, little crew neck sweatshirts. Little basics, basically. Even though I did have a basic Shein haul, I ordered more. Because you can never go wrong with, like, you can never have too many. So, yeah, let me put on something real quick. So I can show y'all. Okay, y'all. So first off, I got this green hoodie, right? And it's just like a really basic green hoodie. I wish it would have been like way more oversized though. I got it in a medium. I should have got it in a large. Like I don't know what's up with like their mediums lately, but they haven't been as oversized as I would like them. But I got it in that like money green rich green it's not really showing up like how it really looks in real life um because it's like way richer it's way more um what's the word like it's it's, it's a sh braxton it's just way more like vibrant than it's showing so yes yeah, like it's really pretty green and then i got these gray sweats uh, just a regular pair of gray sweats because I needed a gray a pair of gray sweatpants. I feel like I have every color but gray. So I just got these. But the only thing about it is I hate how big this right here is. Um, so I don't know how much I'm going to end up wearing it. But, you know, most of the time I'll be looking for something to throw on. So I probably will. But I just really hate the fact that it's so, like, fat right here. And even if I turn forward, like, that is not cute, sister girl. That is not cute at all. So... Yeah, um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but it's cool. It's still cute. I didn't get this to, like, pair together or anything, but just to show y'all, 
I put this on. So, yeah, this little green, gray. And I'm going to link everything below just in case y'all do want to go get some of these items. So, all right. So, next up, I have this black crew neck sweatshirt. And then I also got the black sweatpants. Um, they're both the same material, actually. Um, these are the same exact thing as the gray sweatpants. They just have, like, a variety of different colors. And, excuse me, the sweatshirt ended up just so having to be the same exact material. So, it looks like a matching set. Um, but it's not. I got them separately. Braxton. I don't know what this little boy keeps on doing or what he's bothering. It's making him like cough and stuff, but don't have time for it. So, yeah, I got this sweatshirt in a medium, and I do like how oversized it is. I do already have a black sweatshirt or crew neck like this, but it just wasn't oversized enough for me. And I got it from Pretty Little Thing, and I believe I got it in a size small. So, yeah, I just need to order, order another one because, like I said, I like my stuff to be oversized especially sweatshirts, sweatshirts like this because I know I'm only going to be using it for like throw on errands haul type purposes you know so yeah perfect little throw on you know movie date because y'all know movie days during the fall time it's the best okay <laughs> Oh yeah, and while I'm at it with all this black, um, this isn't how I wear this, obviously. I wouldn't wear a jacket and a sweatshirt at the same time, but I did pick up this, um, oversized little zip-up jacket because, you know, these are really good, like, especially zip-up jackets, they're really good for days that, you know, it may be warm but cold outside, so you may want to unzip, take it off, like, real quick, and then especially on days where maybe you're getting your hair done or something, and you want to take your jacket off or whatever the case may be, I like zip up jackets for that purpose because uh, most of the time you try to do the stuff like this and then it mess up your hair. We don't need that. So this right here, I like for those purposes and you know, just days where maybe I want to show a little stomach like with a little crop top and then this and some tights. Yeah, it's giving a vibe, okay? But I just got it in black and oversized. Sorry if y'all can't really catch the visual right now. But, yeah. That's what we're working with. Okay. So, I've really been loving gray on me. So, I had to get me something in gray. So, I got this a gray crew neck that just says New York, USA on it. Y'all, this is going to be so cute. I could actually, like, dress this sweatshirt up. Like, I could tie it up in the front. And, like, oh, my God. That would be so stinking cute. Oh, I could do a lot with this here sweatshirt, but this is just so cute. I got it oversized as well. Um, I still have on those black sweatpants with this, though. Just to show y'all the tops that I have for right now. But, yeah, this is so cute. I love a gray on me. Like, I'm learning my colors, okay? I'm learning my colors. And I'm also learning that certain shades of brown don't really even, like, suit my skin tone the best. So, yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay. <laughs> and one thing I'm learning is gray is one of my colors. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is definitely one of my favorite pickups for this haul. I got this basic Braxton. Please stop. I got this basic black bodycon dress that goes all the way down to my ankles i love the way that it's snugging my body i got this dress in an extra small and it's just a plain black dress like i love it i also have this dress in brown which was in um uh, my loungewear haul y'all would have seen if you watched that so i just had to pick it up in black because i already love black and listen i need both colors okay oh if they have a gray one i need to get it in gray too but for right now i'm doing shopping okay <laughs> Because I've been doing a little too much shopping lately. But, yeah, I got this in black. And it's so cute. This is definitely one of my favorites. And this is actually the dress that I was wearing when I filmed my, um, what was that? My Girl Talk haul. Girl Talk haul. My Girl Talk video. I had this on and I got a, a lot of people asking me about my top. But it was actually a whole dress that I had on. 
Um, so yeah, cute little basic throw on dress that you can do a lot with though. You can dress it up if you want to. All right, y'all, so this dress is really different. And when I seen it, I was just like, you know what? Let me just get it because it's different and it's not really something that I would usually go for. But let me just get it, you know, maybe something that I end up just like having a thought for one day or a night. Because this is definitely kind of giving like a date night type of dress. Um, so, yeah, it's cute. I feel like whenever I wear it, it's going to be super cute. I love how it is snug in the body. This one goes down to my knee, not all the way to my ankles. So, yeah, it's long sleeve. And then it has, like, the... It's not really the high neck, but it does have, like, you know, the little neck up there. And it's also not as tight. So, like, as you can see, like it's not, like, snugging all the way to my legs like that. So... I feel like that is also giving like a classy look too. So yeah, I like that. So I also picked up this little brown set. This isn't so much loungewear because I definitely plan on probably like dressing this up with maybe a little bag, some sandals, or I could do heels with it. But it's just this little brown set with like drawstring pants and um, the matching top. So they had it with the model wearing the shirt um, tied up at the top like this basically. That is cute as well, but I feel like I want to do like a more flowy look whenever I decide to wear it. I don't know yet though. We'll see. But this is so cute for like a morning brunch or something, especially during the season. I feel like the color goes well um, with the season. Then it also has these pockets right here on the pants. So that's just super cute. And then, you know, accessorize it. That's going to be really cute. Or you could even do, you know those little uh, slides that a lot of people be wearing during the fall season. It's like the slides that have like the fur in it in the inside. If I can think of a picture or if I can find a picture, I'll try to put it up to the side so y'all can get a visual of what I'm talking about. But that would be super cute with this as well. So. Yeah, I think I have one more. Yeah, I have one more item to show y'all. And it's just a loungewear uh, dress. I have it in blue, which was in my loungewear haul. But I decided to get it in this nude color as well because I loved it. So, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so if y'all watch my loungewear haul, y'all should remember this dress that I got. But it was just in the dusty blue color. So, I decided to pick it up in this tan color as well. This one I feel like is a bit longer than the blue one. Not I almost lost my uh, balance. I feel like this one may be a little bit longer than the blue one though because it does come all the way down. I feel like the blue one may come to like right about here. But I just feel like this is so stinking cute. I love this so much. I could definitely wear it with like, well since it's so it's cold now, um, I could throw on like a denim jacket over my shoulders or something like that and make it an outfit because obviously... Ain't nobody finna go outside with spaghetti straps during this season. But throwing it on with like a denim jacket will be super cute. With some sandals. Look at him. Look at him. He is bad. And then gonna run up under the bed because he know what he doing. Oh, he's doing. Braxton. Look. And then what you got in your mouth? Bad. So, yeah, that was everything that I wanted to show y'all. Right now, I'm about to... I think I may actually put on that brown outfit, honestly, right now. Because I may go take pictures. No! I think I'm going to go take pictures, honestly. It's pretty outside, so why not? Just got these braids done. I think I'm going to take some pictures, y'all. And, um, yeah, let me just put on my outfit and everything. And we're going to go take some pictures today. Everything will be linked below in the description box. If my code is still valid, you can use my Shein code, which is SeanCook15, for a few coins off, okay? If you decide to go and purchase anything. So, yeah, let me get ready. 
Okay, so this is the outfit that I decided I'm about to take pictures in. Um, it's the outfit that I put together in one of my clothing hauls. But another outfit that I put on before this, I was going to do that. But I think I'm going to just wear that tomorrow because we're supposed to be going to a football game. So I'm going to just save that one for it that but this is so cute so i just have on this sweatshirt that i got from shein um earrings from misguided i believe bracelet from shein watch jbw ring shein these pants are from pretty little thing and then i just have on these nike blazers um so yeah this is a fit for picture day not even really picture day but that's what we're going to call it. So, yeah, let's head out. Let's go get some pictures and let's hope that they turn out good. I literally hate people that be in like, um, well, let me not say hate because hate is a strong word. But I just don't like when people in like sports cars feel like they need to do the most when driving. Like, what is your point? What is your purpose? But I'm picking up my brother right now. And I wanted to show y'all, excuse me, I wanted to show y'all this um, brow that, that I picked up in Ulta the other day. It is called Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. And I'm thinking like it's about to be something that's going to hold my brows in place. It's literally just like, it doesn't. So, it looks like this. If the camera will focus for y'all. It looks like this in this little blue tube and it's clear. I mean, I'm going to use it just for the time being but i really really need to i haven't made it to sephora y'all know how many vlogs i didn't say i was going to sephora and i still haven't made it because i really need to get this um brow freeze from anastasia um i think i told y'all that i wanted that though i think i told y'all because i seen Aaliyah using it in one of her uh videos when she was doing makeup so i'm really hoping that it's gonna give like the illusion that my eyebrows are laminated because that's the look that I want for my eyebrows. I did put on like a little bit of makeup for these pictures today, but not, you know, I just did my quick little routine where I put my concealer up under my eyes and uh, like contour, you know, nothing too major. I did that little routine for these pictures because lately all my pictures have just been um, natural because one with the dressy pictures that I just took and had on the heels. I left my makeup. I forgot my makeup. Um, so that was like super natural because I had no makeup at all. And then the day before that, I posted the pictures. Sleepy? I'm not sleepy. I posted the pictures in this black outfit and I also didn't have on any makeup then either. So yeah most of my pictures have been natural and i don't really have a problem with that this blinker is really about to irritate me but i feel like i look so cute and i'm gonna i'm gonna take pictures in these glasses right here like you see the vibes like duh and then i brought both of these bags see y'all getting like behind the scenes the decisions that I be having to make whenever I'm taking my pictures but I brought both of these bags because I don't know if I'm, I think I'm gonna go with the green bag because it's like an all green fit and that's just kind of like that's given so I think I want to do the green bag but I also brought this bag as well but since it's cream it doesn't really match my shoes because my shoes are white and green so I think I'm gonna just go with the green one but i just wanted to show y'all that and now i'm like really really feeling this outfit and i'm contemplating like girl you probably should have saved this to wear somewhere somewhere for real for real but i don't be going nowhere i don't so i'm about to stop saving stuff that's what i'm gonna do i'm about to stop saving stuff and just take my page pictures because I don't be going nowhere and stuff just sit up in my closet. Or I'm gonna start going somewhere. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start going places by myself. 
That's what I'm gonna start doing. Okay, let's Cause I can't be preaching stuff to y'all and then I don't be doing it myself. Like in that girl talk video when I was like, don't be waiting around on nobody to go and do stuff. Don't be waiting around on nobody to um, go out and spend time with yourself da, 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 or go do whatever you want to do. Don't wait around. So I need to listen to my own advice, to take my own advice and do the stuff that I want to do. Period. <laughs> okay, so I just finished taking pictures, y'all. I didn't film while I was taking pictures because I really didn't see the vision until, like, they came together. But they came out cute. Y'all need to go like them because they should be up by now that y'all are seeing this. But I'm also by this little coffee shop. So I'm going to run in here real quick and see what they have because it looks like they got a lot of stuff. I think I want some type of smoothie. I think I want a smoothie. Yeah, I'm going to get a smoothie. So... Yeah, let's go see what they got because what i'm seeing on the menu online look cute and the scenery is cute so yeah let's go every time i see you with another man you always say he's just a friend that i can take but this heart of mine is breaking it's hard now to fix it Hey y'all, so it is the next day and it is what, 12 o'clock. So I'm back at the little coffee place that I went to the other day. Cause today I wanna get a smoothie and I think they have like ham and cheese or something like that. So I haven't ate breakfast, so I'm about to eat. Or I'm gonna try one of their sandwiches and hopefully it turns out good. Well, I'm kind of debating on if I wanna get a smoothie or if I wanna get another drink. Cause that drink yesterday was really, really good. I got a mango. I don't know what it was. I just told she was just she just made a suggestion and I was like, yeah, but mango. I don't know what it was though. But it was good. So I'm trying to see if I want to get a smoothie or like coffee. Cause I kinda want some matcha. But I think I'm gonna just go with a smoothie just to be on the safe side. Or I may get that drink again. I don't know. We finna see. And look, look who we have. Stop being bad. You so nosy. He is so nosy. It's the fact that the drink is gone. <laughs> That's kind of sad because this drink is so good. And I just feel like I need another one at this point. This is so good. And it's probably so unhealthy and like sugary. It probably has so much sugar in it, and I just feel like so it's basically like another Starbucks at this point, to be honest. But I like it. Where's my lip gloss? Actually, it's not even lip gloss; it's a lip butter, so it keeps my lips soft and kissable. 
and it's by Tree Hut. And I use their sugar scrub too for my lips, like two times out of the week. And it keeps my lips so soft. You want some? Oh, you don't want none. <laughs> you don't want none? Or maybe he just know better. He know that he can't kiss me for real, for real. I think this may be what it is. You are such a little baby. Y'all, look at how he's sitting over here in my arm. Oh, now you want to get up. Nah, show them how you be for real. This is how he, uh, he, this is how he be. You think you a human. He thinks he's a human. <laughs> Rex. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, we're supposed to be going to a football game today. And um, I already decided what I'm wearing. But then again, I thought about it and I was like, hmm, I don't know if I want to wear it to this game. Because I feel like if I wear it with a different color boot, it'll, no, 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 no. If I wear it, it's certain things that involved in the out or that's in this outfit that I paired up with something else that I feel like would be cute to a different game. So I'm trying to see if I want to do that and then I just have to think of something else. But I don't know. Cause I just feel like the, the outfit that I have in mind for the other game would be super hard. What's going on with my camera? Why does it look so blue? That's weird. Why are you being weird to me? Anyways, y'all. So, I just got home. Girl, we've been out all day. But I'm about to get ready. I need to go in here and take a shower real quick. So, I can get ready. The game starts at 7. We're going to Tuskegee and Morehouse game. I'm about to put my camera on the charger real quick. Because it hasn't charged. And I filmed the whole video last night. I don't know. Like, I forgot. But, yeah. I'm about to do that real quick. Put the camera on the charger. And then, whenever... Um, I'm done getting ready and stuff. How I come back and talk to y'all because hopefully by the end I got a lot to charge because I want my camera to be charged up for the night. So, yeah, I just want to come check in real quick because I haven't checked in since earlier. I'm ready. This is going to be my first football game. First football game of the season. And the season going to be over. It's the back that football season is about to be over. This is my first time going to a football game, but anyway. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I'm ready now, but I gotta put on my fragrance. So I'm gonna do my um, Tom Ford blend. <laughs> the Tom Ford mixed with Missy Girl. I'm gonna put Tom Ford on first. Oh my God, this mixture smells so good, y'all. Oh my God, this smells so good. And then on top, I'm gonna top it with Miss D. Or, oh, I need another bottle. <laughs> it ain't that low though, but it's low. It's time to get another. I can see that. So hold on, I'm gonna show y'all my full fit in the mirror real quick before I go. But I want to. Put on my fragrance with y'all real quick, but let's see so y'all can see my whole fit. Y'all can already get the catch the vibe from the top, but I'm gonna show y'all from the top. Here we go. So, this is the fit. I got this, um, what would you call this? It's like a little muscle tee, but it's so cute with the little hoodie on the back. Like, that's so different. So, I grabbed this. I believe this is from Misguided. I'm pretty sure. And then I got this bag from, well, I didn't get this bag. <laughs> but I got me this bag from Shein. And I haven't worn it. I got this so long ago, like back in May. And I just so happened to like throw it on yesterday when I was trying this on. Because I was about to take pictures of this outfit. I was like, I'm going to save it for tomorrow. And then I just have on these black biker shorts from Target and my black and white ego boots that y'all seen me get a while back. So yeah, that's the fit for tonight. And I'm feeling it. 
it's chill and cute and i feel like it looks really good with these braids so oh yeah and then jewelry i just have on my jbw watch a little diamond little bracelet rings and all that good jazz but y'all already know if it'll focus i need my nails done y'all okay it's not gonna focus she's not focusing and i'm already running late so yeah Bye, y'all. See y'all at the game. Hey y'all, so I am home now and I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog right here. Hey, leave my butt alone, sir. You're caught, caught in 4K. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog right here. Um, I did end up going to the game, as y'all seen. I tried to get like a few clips. Let me turn this down a little bit. I tried to get a few clips from the game, but I ended up recording on my phone just because I know like how they are with bags and stuff. And sometimes with camera, so I didn't even want to like take it and then even up, end up having to leave it in the car or something like that. So I tried to get a few clips. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but I'm gonna try to edit it and put it together real nice for y'all. If y'all hear my brother in the background, I'm sorry. He's a bit upset because Bama lost tonight. I'm gonna probably add like a few clips of that too because it's like pure comedy. <laughs> like, it's not comedy that they lost because, don't get me wrong, I am a Bama fan, but it's his reaction is the comedy. Like, he really like takes it very serious. It really does affect him in a way that I feel like it's not healthy. For such a game for a game to be affecting you that way like like why are you so upset like I don't know it's just it's just I don't understand but a lot of Bama fans are that way like or not even just Bama fans like people who like have a certain team that they go for like a lot of people are just like really really like into it like they just feel so strongly about it so when sometimes um you know people lose or whatever and the outcome isn't what they expected it does like affect them really badly so yeah but anyways i think i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video right here i hope that y'all enjoyed it um and as always i will see y'all at my next one i don't know what Braxton is doing but on that note i'll see y'all later <laughs> bye girl love y'all